the Bermuda Triangle, which was again another enigma of the previous generations. It's an old volcanic spot, there are spears underneath like small peaks. This keeps happening around the Italian coast also. So, the Bermuda Triangle, which was again another enigma of the previous generation, not anymore. These days nobody, no ships go and crash in Bermuda Triangle. It's a difficult to navigate place. There was a documentary in the news channel showing how difficult it is to navigate the Bosphorus. The water body between two parts of Istanbul in Turkey are call, is called Bosphorus. So, it's a difficult place to navigate. There are eight radar, radar stations which help the ships through these days. Earlier, many ships used to crash into something or the other. Now there are eight radar stations guiding them through because it's a little complicated. It's like there will be some road bends where every other day there will be an accident. People will immediately say, there is some ghost waiting here causing accidents, gathering more ghosts. <laughs> Bangalore Mysore Road, there was King Gary. Every month, at least three to five people would die on this corner. It's just a, an upcoming road like this, it's a climb, sharp bend, it's a railway track below, a sharp bend like this and it goes off this way. People come and every day crash into this culvert. Boards, dangerous, accident spot. Reading that, they think they must cause an accident. I don't know how many hundreds and hundreds of people have gotten killed on this bend. It was famous. I had a record of doing Mysore Bangalore in one hour thirty-four minutes on my motorcycle. Roads were not like how it is today. I came one day full blast and I tried to take the corner. I almost went into the culvert. Then I stopped, I went back and looked. It's a simple thing, it's not something that you have to look, but this damn road is so deceptive. It seems to be a sharp climb, so you always throttle up much more than you should. And when a road turns like this, the road should be engineered this way, but it's slightly engineered this way. It's just so deceptive. I mean, these are things that you normally know, it's not something… it's not some rocket science. But this particular road, because of the way it is, the trees behind, the railway track, the way it falls off and the way this side is, all this together creates a certain visual thing. I almost went that day. Then I spent half an hour walking up on that road, up and down that road, wanting to know why the hell I went out of control. And I figured that these are the things that are happening. Today they made the highway and they removed that bend and straightened it out, nobody dies in Kengeri, the ghosts have left. <clears throat> so similarly, Bermuda Triangle is just a difficult place to navigate because it's an old volcanic spot, there are spears underneath, like small peaks underneath the sea. One should know and navigate. This keeps happening around the Italian coast also because some places are not easy to navigate and negotiate. It takes a certain skill. And today these things have come down dramatically. Nobody goes and disappears into Bermuda Triangle because every ship has gadgets and gadgets which show everything. There are sonar readers, there are radars and radio altimeters and everything which shows you a million things. So people don't crash anymore. When captains of the ship were taking the ships into these kind of situations with only their visual and their own sensory capabilities, there was every chance for this to happen. 
So, people are always looking for intrigue. This is not a bad thing because these are all aspiring, uh, what to say, aspiring students of mysticism <laughs> because they didn't find a way, they invented something. Instead of discovering something, they invented something. So you don't invent anything. The important thing is you discover something. Discovery means it's about truth. Invention means you made it up. Don't make up anything. It's… it's important to open the doors in the existence, not to imagine something. <laughs>